Hi, welcome to BlueFX.net, and thank you for buying this last Lower Thirds package. Now we'll see how we can use the Lower Thirds in Final Cut Pro 10. First of all, let's open the delivery package. As you can see, we have three main folders, Business, Sports, and Minimal. I'll open the Business folder first. There are 20 different folders. Each one of them contains a different Lower Thirds design. Now I'll open the Business 1 folder. Inside, there will be another three folders. Each one of these corresponds to a different color setting. I'll use the business color 1. Each lower third has three main parts, the intro, the loop, and the out. All of these are QuickTime files with transparent alpha channel, so to use these files you need to import them into Final Cut. Ok, so now here we are in Final Cut Pro. We'll need to right click and select New Event. First we're going to import the main footage. Because Final Cut will create a new project based on the properties and settings of this layer, select the Import Files and import the footage. Now right click again and import the three logo animation files. We'll do the same for the logo. Next we need to create the new project. Please make sure that our default event is selected and leave these settings as they are now. Now select the logo animation files and drag them to the project area. If you want to make the animation longer, just drag and drop the additional copies of the loop animation in the project area. Now let's add the main footage underneath the lower third. Sometimes we may need to set up the alpha channel. To do that, select the footage in the library and choose the info. Make sure the view is set to settings and then set the alpha channel handling to straight or pre-multiply, whichever looks best with your footage. If for some reason the footage doesn't update, just remove it from the project and drag it back again. To add text, click on the text icon and select lower thirds, middle, and double click it. You can extend the duration of the layer by dragging the ends. To change the text, select the text layer and double click on the text fields. You can move the text by clicking the transform tool. Other settings can be found in the text menu. Now let's add the logo. Again, make sure that the alpha is set correctly. To fade the logo in and out, click the corner and select Show Video Animation. Right click here and reveal the opacity handles and drag each end. Now we have a nice fade and fade out. To render, just select the Share Export Movie. These settings are OK. Hit Next and Save. So this is how you use the lower third footage in Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions about this package, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at bluefx.net. Have a nice day!